Hello everyone, this is Jason Mutlak from Sellermate. Today we'll be talking about how to set up remote drivers and what are remote drivers exactly. So to explain this, let's take a step back and talk about ED architecture. So in the ED wire protocol, you can have multiple ED servers and each server would be running one or more drivers. Each driver could be running one of more devices. So just to give an example, you could have um, a QHI driver that is running and controlling multiple QHI cameras connected to a server. Now, regarding remote drivers, we have to know that do you connect to a chained server or a non-chained server? So this feature of ND server chaining is where one server is started and communicates directly with another server. And so from the client's point of view, in this case, let's say KSTARS, when KSTARS connect to the server, if this first server is changed to the second server, then we, then KSTARS should be able to see all the devices connected to both servers. So we'll be able to see this device here and this device right here, right? However, if we have two servers that are running separately, non-change, and for KSTARS to be, to be able to see both these devices, then this is where we need to use remote drivers. So I have a very good example as, uh, for this, which I'm using in my observatory environment. So in my observatory here, I have a Stellarmate Pro for my main gear, but I have controls for the weather and roof controller and uh, other auxiliary devices like GPIO connected to uh, a small Raspberry Pi here in this cabinet. And so therefore, I have Stellarmate Pro here with, with KSTARS running here. And when I specify the drivers, I specify all my equipment in the profile, <coughs> excuse me, in the remote section, here I would specify the remote drivers. In this case here we see we have two remote drivers. One is at localhost and then colon the port. And then the other one is at Icarus by the local. So what is this exactly? All right, if we go back here, you will notice that I'm running Stellarmate Pro on my main gear. And Stellarmate Pro actually has a dedicated Stellarmate Pro driver with its own indie server running all the time, right? It runs all the time, regardless of whether you started or stopped your equipment profile. It needs to be running all the time, right? Because it's the one that controls the unit. And this driver is running at special port, which is 12624, right? So this is the first remote driver we want to connect to when we start our ECOS profile. The other one is over on Raspberry Pi, which is uh, a separate, completely separate indie server that is controlling my weather controller, the GPIO, and my roof controller. And uh, this one, I just called it Icarus Pi, and it's running at a normal, uh, the regular indie port 7624. So in here, this is then how we specify. We put uh, our all our normal equipment that are connected locally to this machine, which is Telemate Pro. And then in the remote, the format is you put at, then you put the IP address or the host name. And uh, if it's running on a different port, not 7624, then you would put colon the port number. Otherwise, like Icarus Pi here, you would just leave it as it is. And so hopefully this clears up what our remote indie drivers are used for. Clear skies.